Hey there, lovely people. This is Sean. I'm at the lovely place, and today, guess what I'm doing? You guessed it. I am messing with my Case I-875C tractor. There's something that I've been meet, needing to do for a while now on this thing. Uh, you guys may have seen in a video when I had multiple issues within uh, two weeks of each other, and I had to get a service tech up here from the dealership to uh, take care of a little problem. And the problem was the linkage in the clutch, uh, that with the clutch cable linkage. Uh, there's a nut that apparently it's happened before to, to others that backed off and the linkage kind of came apart and I lost my shuttle shift and, and I lost my clutch. And so I was in a bad spot, kind of stranded up there at the front of the property for a little while. But I don't know if I've told you lately enough that I do love this Case 75C. This thing, it, it's, it's, I'm happy with it. I mean, I've never owned a tractor before in my life. This is the one I settled on and uh it's it's doing the job yeah it's it's had a couple of quirks but i'm guessing maybe a lot of them do but anyway i was wanting to take you along with me on this little uh i guess it's not a repair it's a preventative maintenance issue i'm hoping in this big old box of uh, bolts and nuts that i have a nut that i can i'm hoping this one will work that I can fit on that other nut or on that other bolt right above that other nut so that I can prevent it from backing off. One of you guys, my awesome subscribers, actually told me that that's what y'all did and it makes all the sense in the world. So let me adjust this camera real quick here and see if we can get the light up there on that nut. It's in a, let's see. It's in a tight spot at the top of that turnbuckle. Right there. You can see it. It's I think it's a golden color. I just shine the light on it a little bit better. And so I'm going to see if that will tighten down a little bit. And then I'm going to see if this other nut can, uh, you know, go on there to lock it in place. And hopefully that thing will never back off again. Because I'm concerned that if it backed off once and it made this linkage all come apart... Uh, that'll do it again and uh, we replaced the spring the spring popped off when that happened that spring you see back there and we put a brand new spring on it uh, back when this was repaired they told me that the spring that they um, you know put on it from the manufacturing facility uh, was having some issues and potentially causing this I'm not sure if it if it caused it or if it was just the nut backing off that caused it but in any case, they did bring a new spring, which was a little shorter than the previous spring. So it's got a lot more tension than it had before. I'll try to link that video of that repair to this uh, video so you can take a look at it. But yeah, let's see if we can get this nut on here and get this thing locked down permanently. Too big. Just right. Okay, let's see if we can tighten this any. Oh yeah, a little bit tighter. Don't want to overdo it. Okay, maybe just a little bit tighter so I can have some threads for that other nut. That's gonna do it. Now, let's see if this next nut will fit on there. All right. Problem is it's so tight, I don't know if I'll be able to get my wrench back off of it if I'm able to get it to go. I'm going to have to do it with my fingers first. And that's going to be challenging. Because there is very little room. <sighs> Probably will drop it. I did. I found it though. Oh, that's tight. Okay. 
there is just no easy way in there with these fingers okay let's see if i can stick it between the finger and mm. what do you know did y'all see that that's some talent right there guys <laughs> all right brings me back to my crew chief days will that fit yeah don't turn it off. Is that gonna fit on this? Is it, was this the right wrench? I don't think it was the right wrench. Try it again here. Okay, let's take this one away. Uh oh, don't come off, don't come back. Let's get my fingers. Oh, don't go the wrong way. that was that fit it. Let's try this again. This won't even fit. Let's try it opened in. There we go. We got a little bit of a tightening there. Let's try it again. breaking her down so this is going to prevent that initial the first nut from ever backing off because it's going to be locked in place now and i i've thought about this every time i get in the tractor and begin cutting fields or doing any grapple work or whatever that's causing me to use the clutch a whole lot okay well i felt up in there it's not backing off by hand uh, or going forward. It seems nice and snug. Um, I believe it's going to do the job. I definitely don't want to keep tightening it in fear that I'm possibly stripping it. Um, I never did put a lot of torque on it, but it didn't have that many threads to begin with to uh, hold on to. So I think we're good. We're definitely better than we were. And... Uh, Hopefully it'll last and we won't have any more problems with that. But I just wanted to take you along with that little preventative maintenance repair to hopefully not get in a position again where uh, the clutch fails on me. And if you've got a case 75C, you might want to just get down in there and put a little, little tightening on that nut and make sure that uh, it's not backing off at all. And um, if it is, uh, if your tractor's newer, you might want to you know deal with that spring issue maybe call your dealer and ask them what they know about it but i thought that would be interesting to you so now i'm going to get on with cleaning up some trails and doing a little bit more maintenance around here but preventative maintenance that's the key to long-term usage of uh, equipment vehicles or anything else that you've got if, if you know that it could potentially be a problem you need to take care of it but service is also important if you go back a video or two You'll see uh, that we did a 100 hour service on this tractor. I think we caught parts of it. And uh, there's one item that I pointed out that 100 hours is too late. So check that out. And uh, if you like this kind of content about tractors and land and developing a homestead, I'd love for you to subscribe to our channel, come back and visit us. And if you like this, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And we look forward to seeing you here next time at the Lovely Place. Have a great one.